You know, it's the show that beat Monday Night Raw for 83 consecutive weeks as we welcome you to Monday Nitro. Tonight will truly be the greatest night in the history of our sport. Looking at this card, I just got to rub my hands together and... Here comes the hitman. Oh, uh, yeah, the excellence of execution. Introducing first, from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, Brett the Hitman Hart. I got to say, guys, it is an absolute honor to be here ringside to call a match featuring the excellence of execution. How funny it is to hear you change your tune, Saxton. You've been complaining about the Hitman's attitude recently, and I think it's ridiculous. The only thing you've ever excelled at is being subpar. I have the utmost respect for Bret Hart, but I don't appreciate the fact that he seems to not believe that people still respect him the way they have over the last 10 years. And his partner from Manchester, England, weighing in at 256 pounds, the British Bulldog. A true powerhouse in every sense of the word. One of the most powerful superstars ever to grace a WWE ring. And a man whose bark and bite are equally as lethal. Made his debut on the independent circuit of the United Kingdom in 1977. Has influenced countless superstars of today. Yeah, like... And their opponents, at a combined weight of 548 pounds, Steve Ray and Butcher T. Harlem. Guys, we have two of WWE's most exciting teams ready to go here tonight in tag team action. And I can tell you that the entire tag team division has eyes on this match right now. That's how big this one is. And here we go. This tag team match is going to be Jeez. heated, to say the least. We are watching the master of the sharpshooter in the ring right now. Yeah, any opponents better bring their A game or a pair of crutches. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh, my goodness. This hurts. Oh! Uh -oh. oh my goodness, crushing it! We have Bret Hart on the defensive. 
headed into this match, seeing his partner look extremely confident. It's decision time, Cole. Man. Does he try to get back on the offensive himself, or does he attempt to make a tag here? You never want to count a competitor out, but Man. things don't seem to be going in his favor here tonight. Bret Hart getting put to the test. Oh, man. This tag team match is dangerously close to getting out of control for him. He's not looking good, and at this point, he has no option but to make it to his corner and get his partner in there. Hart is showing signs that it could be ending soon. Wow. Time's almost up. His outlook is not good at all. He has got to do something quick. What a stomp! Good for the exclamation point! Close line! Right in the back of the neck. Up and uh oh, wait a minute, wait a minute! Pedigree! Got every. The shoulders are down. Only a two count. What a kick out. Looking for the finish. Oh, caught him. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Pedigree. Can he? His shoulders are down. They did it. Number one contenders. Picked up a big win, and look at this! Corey! It's the Tag Team Champions sending a message! Major statement! Making her way to the ring from Tampa, Florida, Alundra Blaze. Byron, as we get started here, tell me what's the best approach to take in a battle royal. Well, the first thing I would do is make some alliances and go after the biggest competitor. From there, I'd stay as far away from the ropes as possible. That's where all the trouble goes down. Here comes the Queen! And her opponents. First, from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair! Back at NXT, Charlotte was part of a group called the Four Horsewomen with Sasha Banks, Bailey, and Becky Lynch. Wow, has Charlotte evolved from those times?
Corey, many people believe Charlotte may be the best pure athlete the women's division has ever seen. It's hard to argue that statement. Charlotte Flair has backed up every claim she has made since arriving in WWE. And you can see the respect from the WWE Universe for Charlotte. It's boss time! Here comes Sasha. And from Boston, Massachusetts, Sasha Banks. Byron, it's always a treat to see Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks has her own swag. She's got her own confidence, and she knows how to back it up. If there's a camera around, Sasha wants to be in front of it. If there's a spotlight out, she wants to be in the middle of it. Sasha Banks once stood in line for the opening of a refrigerator. Corey, I don't understand what your issues are with Sasha Banks. She's one of the all-time greats. You ever talk to her? She's intolerable. Or he's just jealous. He wishes he had half the blame. Look who it is! It's Bailey! That's my line! And from San Jose, California, Bailey! Guys, they're here! The wacky wavy inflatable arm flailing Bailey buddies! Oh, my night is made! Well, Byron, relationships are all about ratios. Maybe you'll get a date with one of them finally. Huh? Plenty of action coming up as we have six of WWE's top names ready to go here. Oh, man, Michael. Six-man matches like this always remind me of world class back in the 1980s. It's just an infectious feeling when Bailey comes to town, when Bailey competes. Everybody's feeling hug life, except Corey. I think she just winked at you, Byron. I think so too. Hey, Bailey. Here comes the war goddess. Her entrance is just as unique as her offensive playbook. And from Dallas, Texas, Ember. Guys, what better way to start the night off than with this one? I can't think of a better match to kick the night off, Michael. In fact, we haven't even gotten started yet, and I can assure you that this will be a tough match to follow. The baddest woman on the planet is here. There is only one. Hey, Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey's got her game face locked. She is ready to compete.
Here we go with six of WWE's top Man. superstars vying to be the last competitor standing. If it was oh. me, I'd start this thing by going right after the biggest competitor, then worry about the rest of the field. Looking a little dazed here. Yeah, she's definitely not looking herself right now, Cole. Oh, that's one way to bring it to her opponent. Big time. Close quarters. Oh, a knee right to the face. That knee is a lethal weapon. Now it's Bailey on her heels. She's in there with some stiff competition tonight. Yeah, but she oh. still has to be considered a legitimate contender to win this battle royal. Her opponent clearly wants to prove oh. a point tonight. And you know what? I think it's working. And face first, Flapjack. A great six-man battle royal was the number 30 over-the-top rope challenge on Monday Night Raw back in 2004. The WWE Universe saw Goldberg, Mark Henry, Rob Van Dam, Chris Jericho, Randy Orton, and Booker T battle it out to see who would be the last superstar standing and earn the coveted 30th entrance spot for that year's Royal Rumble match. To the face. Oh, nothing fancy about that. Byron, you took us back in time with the number 30 over the top rope challenge on Raw. The thing about that battle royal that is so memorable to me is the way Goldberg dominated the match early on. Goldberg was the last superstar to enter the ring and just started dropping his opponents. One by one, superstars were eliminated. The first being Rob Van Dam, followed by Booker T. And just like that, they were down to four superstars, Michael. You saw how resourceful Chris Jericho and Randy Orton were to survive against the super heavyweights like Goldberg and Mark Henry. Y2J did get eliminated after Mark Henry was gone. It came down to Randy Orton and Goldberg. The battle royal ended when Goldberg press slammed Orton out of the ring on to fellow Evolution members Nature Boy Ric Flair and Batista. It's important to remember, as with any WWE Battle Royal, that a superstar is eliminated when they go over the top rope and both feet touch the floor. Six-man Battle Royals have been used over the years to determine everything from who the number one contender is for a WWE Championship to who will be a certain entry number in the Royal Rumble. Royal remains one of the most dangerous types of matches in sports entertainment today. A superstar needs to look over both shoulders at all times. You know, despite Ronda's rigorous training at the Performance Center and continuous improvement in the ring, there was a time when Ronda Rousey felt she couldn't call herself a WWE superstar yet, like she didn't earn it, Byron. Well, her outlook changed quickly at SummerSlam, though, Michael. I think becoming Raw Women's Champion certainly earns Ronda the right to call herself a WWE superstar now. You fellas bringing up Ronda Rousey's first Women's Championship win Reminded me of all the naysayers that have doubted her. Let me tell you, the worst bet to make is to doubt Ronda Rousey. Well, Corey, those that said she can't only dared her to be great. That so-called overhyped and overrated rookie was fueled to become the Raw Women's Champion in only the third match of her career. Hammerlock applied. Oh, no, no. Uh-oh. Oh! Breaking her arm. Just wearing down the opponent. Look at her go. Ooh. Exhaustion starting to set in on a lender blaze. I can tell you this is not how she envisioned this match going, guys. It's not looking great, but I've never seen her give less than 100%, and I don't expect that to change here. A move like that can get her right back into this match. Immediately. And here we go from the hospital. Filthy German suplex. It's heating up now. Boom! 
<laughs> Takes her off her feet. That's how you eliminate somebody's vertical game. Kick! Beginning to look bad for her oh, here. Man. She doesn't want this lack of momentum to snowball. You gotta believe this one's over. Beautiful technique. Six of WWE's most alpha. Pro Bam! Ooh, on the mark. I knew it was only a matter of time. Line. Forcefully delivered. Not looking good for her right now. Her hopes of winning this match may very well be in jeopardy. When you start becoming fatigued in a match like this, the other competitors in the ring can Oh, neck breaker. Incredible. Very difficult position to be in right now. Yeah, situations like this usually don't end very pleasantly. And that does it. Ronda Rousey captures the win. Let's take another look at these women in action. That's a woman on a mission. She left it all in the ring, and I expected nothing less. Here is your winner, the baddest woman on the planet, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Impressive showing there and route to the win. And you could tell it took every ounce of energy in that body to pick up that last elimination. Very nicely done. Matches like that. The Hall of Famer, Beth Phoenix, a true pioneer. Making her way to the ring from Buffalo, New York, the WCW Women's Champion, the Glamazon, Beth Phoenix. Without question, one of the best, most purest natural athletes we have ever seen in WWE. The irresistible force! And her opponent, from San Diego, California, Nia Jax. Hey, whenever Nia Jax enters an arena, whenever Nia Jax enters a match, everyone takes notice of the dominance that this woman is capable of. She's beautiful, she's powerful, she's dangerous. It's like a million dollar smile on a wrecking ball. Nia Jax is the irresistible.
Finally, these two are in the ring where their grudge can get settled. No more excuses. We're going to find out who the better superstar is. Well, you can't ask for much more than this, especially given how talented these women are. A lot of times you see champs dial it back a bit when the title's not on the line, but I don't expect to see that from her here. Into the collar and elbow tie-up. Only one competitor comes out ahead here. Oh, this is not good at all. The... Oh, right to the back. Big splash. Locked in. Smart maneuver. Now Beth Phoenix might be in trouble here. But this one appears far from over, and she knows that. From the looks of things, it just doesn't appear to be her night. But hey, it she goes for the cover. Beth Phoenix, no problem getting out. Hey, I guess you never know. Nia Jax is the most powerful woman in WWE, and we've seen her dominate opponents without breaking a sweat. Guys, how do you prepare for the irresistible force? Nia Jax is one of the most dominant competitors from a physical perspective. When she has the right mindset, nobody can compete with the irresistible force. Your best bet is to play the mental game with Nia. Elbow finds its mark. Talking some more about strategy against Nia Jax. Corey brought up that an opponent might have an advantage if they can get inside the head of the irresistible force. Do you agree, Byron? Well, I'm not a fan of trash talking, but Nia has proven to be thin-skinned against the likes of Alexa Bliss and Mickie James. But you do run the risk of angering the most imposing woman on the WWE roster. Oof! down the opponent. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Nia Jackson. Oh, Nia Jackson, a leg drop. Thunderous leg drop. She's got a chance to win it here. She's not going away yet. Gonna have to put in a little more work than that. She is on fire. Great power. Boom. Oh, my God. There is no coming back from that one. She goes for the cover. Nia Jax comes up big with that victory. Let's look back on the action from the last match. Remember this? Still can't believe I get paid to watch this amazing action.
Here is your winner, Maya Jax. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. Here comes the Lex Express! Making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 275 pounds, the total package, Lex Luger! Big time singles matches on deck here, and Byron, what should we expect to see here tonight? Well, given the shape these superstars appear to be in here tonight, I fully expect to see one of the most competitive matches we've seen in a very long time. Perfect. And his opponent from Robbinsdale, Minnesota, weighing in at 257 pounds, Mr. Perfect. A flawless technician, everything executed in the ring in textbook style. Byron, I believe the word you are looking for is not flawless, it's not textbook, it's perfect. One of the all-time greats. Cole, some people spend their entire lives striving for greatness. Mr. Perfect just obtained greatness naturally. The bell rings, and Jeez. Mr. Perfect is looking to remain that way with a victory here. Bring it on. Here we go, fellas. I've been looking forward to this one for quite some time. Ah, backdrop suplex. What a stomp. Good grief. You gotta believe this one's over. side Russian leg sweep. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, right to my gut. What a stomp. Good grief. That'll break you in half.
Strong oh, kick. My goodness. Harsh impact. Lex Luger staggering a bit here. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Ouch. Cole. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Nothing to worry about. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. Big backdrop. Yeah, but we'll see if it'll last. Nailed it. Snap mare. Boom. Perfectly executed. Can he end it here? This isn't good. I don't think Lex Luger knows where he is. Mr. Perfect, he's looking for it, Corey. This isn't just great. It's perfect. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Mr. Perfect is getting a little carried away right here, but it's hard to blame him. Oh, God, that hurt. Elbow drop. Piercing. And a pin attempt. Unreal performance. No doubt it was a good one. Here's another look. Highlight for one superstar, low light for another. And so it goes. Here is your winner, Mr. Perfect! And that's a win to start off the night. And if that matches any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight. It's a hostile takeover! Making his way to the ring from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 328 pounds, the WCW World Heavyweight Champion, Kevin Nash! Byron, who can forget? Bash at the Beach, 1996, the formation of the NWO. The entire world of sports entertainment, Corey, was turned on its head. They were shocked. It was a surreal scene, and that charge was led by Kevin Nash and Scott Hall.
and his opponent from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 280 pounds, Scott Hall. Scott Hall's looking better than ever here tonight. I don't ever remember seeing him look this good, Michael. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. Man. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. Aside from Saxton's commentary, this has oh, all man. the makings of an epic match. What a stomp! Good grief! Setting it up! Nice neck breaker! That's how you wear down your opponent. There's a pin now. Yeah, I don't believe that, that he didn't win this match right there. That's either sheer genius or complete stupidity, Cole. What a stomp. Good grief. Impact. Scott Hall getting put in check oh. here, but not for a second do I expect him to wow. back down now. Well, he had to oh, expect wow. to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. Covers on the mat. And there's a kick out at one. Clearly not enough damage done. Lariat. Down he goes. That'll do it every time. Here's a cover. And Big Sexy gets the shoulder up at one. It's way too early. That'll slow Kevin Nash down a bit. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. I wouldn't call oh, for man. the medics just yet, Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point. But that can obviously all change here. He's making a statement here with this attack. Wow. Close line right in the back of the neck. Looks like Scott Hall is fading here. You can bet this is not how he Ooh, right to the face. There it is. I think he's got the shoulders down. He kicks out before three. Yeah, it's going to take more than that. I think Kevin Nash is done playing. Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash. We may be looking at a power bomb here. That's exactly Jackknife! That was simply amazing. The force of that impact should put an end to this match right here. Two count and a kick out. No one, two, three moment here, kid. Scott Hall is showing signs that the end is near. You can't help but wonder how much more of this he can take. He's fading fast here, guys. If I'm his opponent, I'm thinking about putting him out of his misery sooner than later. Elbow drop. Elbow drop. Elbow drop. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Elbow drop. Drop. Hey, 
lethal attack focused on the chest. Elbow drop, big time. This might be it. Oh, my. Elbow drop. Nasty one right to the chest. Ooh. Right to the chest. Not sure where he gets his energy, but it is a sight to behold. Oh, right to the chest. Debilitating elbow drop. Elbow drop. Nailed it. What a strike. Boom. Hall is on fire, and nobody can contain him right now. I think we know what this is. Choke slam. But I don't know how much gas he has left, guys. Scott Hall is in position. Scott Hall. Right where he wants it. Because we're about to see the outsider's edge. What a comeback. We got a cover. One, two, three. There's the pin. It's over. It's all over. Here's a few clips from the last match for us. Oh, I can't believe this. Yeah, he's putting in the work. He ain't messing around. And here's a last look at this one. Here is your winner, Scott Hall. Big win here to start the show. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. Making his way to the ring from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 212 pounds, the WCW United States Champion, Dean Malenko. What a great match we have here to start off this night, guys. And Michael, I had to check twice when I saw this match listed as our opener. I mean, it could very well have been our main event.
Ah, oh, check it out, gentlemen. Oh, <laughs> yeah. The low rider. Riding in style. And his opponent from El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 228 pounds, Eddie Guerrero. You guys feel that? Just got a little warmer in here, gentlemen, because Latino heat is on the scene. Oozing charisma. Not many compare to Eddie Guerrero. The WWE Universe is chopping to the bit to see these two competitors go at it. You can count me in on the excitement. I can't wait. Man, this card is just packed with so oh. many great matches, and this one is definitely among the most anticipated, I'd say. What a strike, right on the mark. What a stomp, good grief. Oh, nasty impact. Beautiful technique. Harsh impact. He's not looking like himself here. He's going to need to find a way to fire back. Oof. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected, especially considering who he's in the ring with. the cover. Ah, kick out from Eddie Guerrero. Oh, wow. This might be it. Oh, he's going for the pin. And he kicks out. Oh, man. I don't know who to root for. He's going for it all. Uh-oh, this isn't going to end well for someone. Oh, what impact. Oh, what a snap mare. Oh, perfectly executed. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Ooh. Clearly targeting the shoulder. Oh! Oof! What a stomp! Good grief! Oh, continuing to punish them! He's on the defensive here. This could be the start of an ugly downward oh, spiral man. if he's not careful. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment oh. tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. The good news for him is that his opponent's offense man. is likely packing a little less of a punch, considering all the damage he was able to inflict earlier in this match. Again, that's two, and perhaps a trifecta. Three amigos. This could be the turning point, Cole. Eddie Guerrero looking to attack from high. Eddie Guerrero. Viva La Rasta, the frog splash. I knew it was only a matter of time. And I can't believe this match is still going on. Not yet. You gotta believe this one's over. Oh my goodness, this hurts! Oh! 
Boom, what impact. Plenty of can't miss TV on Thursday, but nothing more can't miss than this broadcast of WWE television. It must be nice to be able to dial it up when you need to. Back in from the floor. A lot of people are questioning how this superstar got such a favorable spot in this week's power rankings. But not to me. Seems perfectly logical. Six. Here he goes. And the slam. Can he end it here? Looking for the finish. Cross the shoulders. What a slam! Impactful. It'll jar your spine. Now he's got to capitalize. The cover, and this one's history. What a win. And the champion. Another big victory here tonight. Yeah, a hard-fought matchup, but this superstar deserves to have... Oh, wait oh, a minute. Number one contender from oh. behind. That's not cool. Well, this isn't cool either. This superstar lining up to add more damage. Oh, man, what a blow to the face. That is a message. 